Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training company PassMyInterview.com and in this tutorial I'm going to focus on helping you pass an operations manager interview. It does not matter which company you are being interviewed for, for the role of operations manager. I promise you this tutorial will make a huge difference to your preparation. In particular, I'm going to give you a number of interview questions, but more importantly, I'm going to give you high scoring answers. So please do stick around and watch it from beginning to end. So a very warm welcome to this interview training tutorial. My name is Richard McMahon. That's me there in the middle. I've been um, a manager of operations in the past for many years. So I know what it takes to pass the interview and I need to give you, which I will do, high scoring answers to the interview questions. As always, please do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the training videos that I'm uploading. And I would very, very much appreciate it if you gave the video a like. Thank you very much. So before we get into those questions and answers, what is the role of an operations man manager? So the operations manager role is basically the glue that keeps a company operating efficiently and effectively. And it requires an ability for you to take responsibility seriously. You have to operate with high levels of consistency whilst also following organizational rules policies and procedures. Those things are really, really important. We're going to focus on demonstrating them during the answers to the operations manager interview questions. So let's get straight into them. Question number one, tell me about yourself and why you want to become an operations manager. Here's my suggested answer. I am very well organized, conscientious and professional in relation to the tasks that I undertake at work. I have spent time reading the job description for the role of operations manager and I am 100% confident I had the necessary strong work ethics, qualities, and the determination to excel within the role. I already have experience of managing people and operations combined, and I know how important it is to not only take responsibility for everything that happens from an operational perspective, but also in respect of making sure my team hit their targets and they always maintain high standards. I want to become an operations manager simply because this is the role I am most comfortable in. And my natural skills, my qualities and my attributes are all geared up for becoming a highly competent and productive operations manager. If you hire me, I will not let you down. So that's a strong answer that gets you off on a strong footing during the first question of your operations manager interview. Now, I'm going to move on to um, a number of other questions and answers um, but if you want to download a copy of these, I will tell you we can get access to them as we progress through this tutorial. So please do stick around. Why have you chosen our company to become an operations manager? So many, many companies employ operations manage, uh, managers. Why have you chosen that? Here's my suggested answer. I've chosen your company to become operations manager for three specific reasons. Reason number one is because you have a strong reputation within the industry for delivering consistently high results. And this means I will be able to perform my duties knowing I have the support of the organization. Reason number two is that you are clearly popular amongst your customers, which means that providing I perform the role of operations manager to a high standard, I will have stable employment for many years to come. Finally, reason number three is because during my research into your company, you have clear rules and guidelines in respect of how you expect your operations to not only be run, but to also be managed. This means if I become your operations manager, I will be able to perform my duties and responsibilities by following strict company rules, policies and procedures, which is something I actually prefer to do. If you have set guidelines to follow as an operations manager, it is far easier to hit your targets and therefore help your employer meet their goals and objectives. So that gives three specific reasons why you have chosen their company to be operations manager and they are good strong reasons next question which part of the job will you find the most challenging in the first four weeks of starting as our operations manager so this assesses it's a very clever question it's a tough one this assesses your knowledge of the role that you're being interviewed for but it also assesses your understanding of perhaps your weaknesses or which areas you would find the toughest so here is my suggested answer Having read and studied the job description and the person specification in detail, I feel I have a pretty strong grasp of the type of work I will be doing in the early days of becoming your operations manager. In respect of which aspects I would find the most challenging, that would have to be quickly but diligently reading upon and implementing the operational policies and procedures I would need to adhere to in order to ensure my team performs to the necessary standards. In the role of operations manager, there is no time to waste and you don't get a bedding in period where you have the luxury to learn the role at a steady pace. You simply have to get up and running 
fully from the get-go so the organization can maintain full operational capacity. Having said that, if I'm successful today and you hire me to become your operations manager, I plan to do some homework reading up on the operational procedures so I can literally be fully up and running as soon as I start. That's a great answer to that question. It shows that you understand what's going on in the role, um, which will be the challenging bits and also the benefit for them that you want to get up and running as soon as possible. Now, I'm going to give you a couple more interview questions for your operations manager interview. Um, but if you want to download the full set of operations manager interview questions and answers in a guide format, click that link in the top right hand corner of that video and it will take you through to my website where you can find out more about how to download them. Next question. What are the qualities of a good operations manager? Here's my answer. The qualities are essentially those that I read in the job description for the position. They are an ability to follow operational rules and procedures, ensuring safety protocol is followed at all times by all staff, managing your staff to ensure the organization's mission is accomplished, being a strong communicator so that your team understand their daily goals and tasks, being positive about and open to change as the organization has to continually change in order to be successful and also an understanding of how important it is to operate with speed, efficiency and accuracy. Time is basically money and the operational aspect of a business must be fast to a very high standard and above all consistent. Another strong solid answer. Next question. Here's a tricky one. Describe your style of management. Will you be an easygoing operations manager? Or will you take a firm approach to managing people and our operations? Here's my suggested answer. My style of management will be firm but fair. One of the first things I will do if I'm successful in becoming your operations manager is ensure all staff are aware of the required standards expected of them. Unless you set high standards, things will go wrong. And as your operations manager, I do not want things to either be missed, targets not to be achieved, or delays in any of the operations that I am responsible for. Now, although I intend being firm in my approach to management, I will also be approachable and I will always support my team in the function of their duties. If the team performs well, they will get praised and they will get rewarded. To summarise, I will be an operations manager who sets very high standards, but I will support, inspire and motivate my team to be the best they possibly can be. So that's a really good answer once again. So like I say, if you want to download the full set of operations manager interview questions and answers, and I strongly recommend you do because they will make a big difference to your preparation and performance at the interview, click the link below the video right now or go direct to my website, pass my interview. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I genuinely hope you pass your interview. Thank you very, very much for watching. And I wish you all the best in your pursuit to becoming an operations manager. Have a brilliant day. Thank you very much.